Let's go over the markets this morning here a little bit. Gerald Gooden, focus on crude oil. If you look at crude, we had a major buy setup that just popped here in the market this morning. Here is our buy setup. Let me circle it as right exactly to the tick of our support level on both charts. Let's break down left to right real quick why that's a buy setup and how we utilize the system. Let me break the charts down left to right real quick and make sure we understand where we're at. On the left side, far left side is market profile. This has been around since 1985. Uh, our profile is unique in that we use um, um, longer-term profiles. A lot of profiles are 30-minute profiles. A lot of uh, retail uses 30-minute. I do not use a 30-minute profile. I find it is hit or miss. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I like to use a longer term. I call it an institutional profile because you have bigger swings in the market, and it gives you a real good feel for where the market uh, has major support and resistance. The three major levels, there's, there's these red and green lines and blue lines on this far left chart. Uh, they act as support and resistance. Now, what you want to do is, let me break these down. The, the, there's an order of importance with market profile. Profile, volume profile is your number one profile you're going to get because it's actually looking at all the volume coming in. It takes all the volume, like I said, from all the hedge fund, prop firms, high-frequency traders, a lot of these electronically traded markets are all algorithm-based and all um, computer-based. So it looks at all that volume, and it calculates major support and resistance. This blue line that calculates, that takes all the volume, and it takes the most volume that's traded in that instrument that you are trading. So that's going to create your major support and resistance on trend days. We only use that blue line on trend days. We do not use it on chop days, and I'll show you how to trade chop or trend in a second. But we use this for support on trend days, resistance on trend days. So you see the market came down, stopped to the exact tick on it, and exploded off of it. And this is a buy setup, and I'll show you how that was along with our Fibonacci error over here. So that is our market profile. The big red line, green line, or blue line, sorry, is the most volume that's traded in that instrument. We only trade that on trend days for support and resistance on a retracement. The red line's high value, that's calculated from the blue line, and the green line is low value, that's support down here also. The second profile that's most important is a thin red and thin green. That's the outer edge profile, meaning it is the developing profile, and it develops as price ticks. So you have only a green and a red on that. Uh, those are the two most impor important profiles that create support and resistance for the market. You see these little dots on there, that's price profile. That only gives you confluence. I don't use it as support and resistance by itself. You can see uh, I had a stacked area of 75 right there on price profile and volume profile. Price are the dots, red and green dots. Volumes of thick red, green, and blue lines are your most important. You can trade off those all by themselves, and they can create major support and resistance. The thin green and red are developing. So there's three different profiles on that chart. Like I said, the most important is volume. Volume can stop price all by itself. So the best way to use profile is for confluence. That's our far left chart. You don't have to use it as a standalone system um, profile like a lot of traders do. I like to use it for confluence when I got a Fibonacci arrow set up. So we use that chart to say, hey, if I get a Fib arrow that fires over here with trend, which we did, it stopped at the exact tick on my support level on profile and my sim dots, that gave me one, two, three times stacked area with an arrow with trend up. That gives you an ultimate buy signal. The market um, arrow printed, your live fill would be the high of that bar around 84, 85, and she went to 25. So that was right there alone, um, a $400 potential trade just on that last setup. Your stop loss is two ticks below that swing low. So that's how we use profile. We use profile, market profile, as an added confirmation of the actual volume coming in the market. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. We're not using a moving average convergence divergence. We're not using a... Uh, stochastic. We're not using a moving average crossover. We're not using lagging systems. This is actual tangible information we can use because it's actually what's coming in the market. 
this blue line that popped up, that's not our opinion. That's not lagging information. That's actually volume coming in the market. That's how market profile, why it's so important and why traders really need to get accustomed to it because it can really elevate your game to the next level. So that's what we use. You know, we have a lot of traders that don't even log in the room anymore. They trade all these different markets uh, and they use market profile um, to utilize uh, as a tool to facilitate trades based upon major support and resistance. Okay? So that's one major key. In fact, we had a prop firm that tried to uh, to buy our market profile outright as a mini hedge fund, and we declined them based upon they offered us quite a bit of funds for it, and it's a proprietary market profile, and we will not give it up. So it's very, very key to your trading, and it's something that's, um, that that we, uh, you, we, we put this on your own computers, and we also have in the room for you. All right, so that's market profile. To the next chart is their trend chart. This is very important you understand this chart. This is going to tell us the overall trend of the market. And it's also going to tell you when counter trend traders are going to get stuck. And this is very, very, very key. All right. Yeah, Earl, you're doing a great job, buddy. Is it this trend chart is very, very key to your success because we knew that the market is in an uptrend. Now, the most important way to view this is this. The hottest part of the market that you're going to get into is when you're above all three MAs. And the most important part on this chart is the open versus close, meaning the uh, body of the candle, not the wicks, not the, the wicks I really don't care about, meaning the highs and lows of the candle. I care about the box or the body of the candle. That's the open versus close. That's the most important part of trading is looking at the open versus close relationship. And if you're above all three MAs, you're in the strongest part of the market. All right? If you're below all three MAs, you're in the weakest part of the market. They're trying to mark the market up if you're above all three. If you are, if, if all three are crossed up, see all three are crossed up, the smalls above the medium, mediums above the large, they're all three. See, they've all been crossed up every since yesterday at 1.30 in the afternoon. So 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, this market started its uptrend right there at 49.50. So 49.50, right there, the market started its move up. And you only had a buy side bias all the way up. So you would not take any Fibonacci shorts or shorts on my system at all. This trend chart educates you to stay on the right side of the market. It tells you only buy side setups. So that trend chart coupled with the market profile you see works very well because I know that I'm in an uptrend on my trend chart, so I know I can buy market profile control point and Fibonacci arrows over here to the right. So these two charts feed off each other. The market profile gives you the support and resistance where the market should retrace to with overall trend direction, and then your Trend chart tells you the direction of your bias. The trend chart is something I look at first. I don't look at market profile first. I always look at the trend chart first because I want to get my bias. So ever since 1.30 yesterday, if you took any shorts in the market, you are totally going against the overall trend of the market. And you don't want to do that. So we don't want to go against the overall trend. The trend of the market is up, so we want to buy dips. Now, what's way, what are the ways we can find entries? Let's look at our last entry right here. There's only two setups you need to concentrate in this room. And the two setups with the Fibonacci arrows are this. I'll show you the two Fib setups. Fibonacci retracements are excellent. Usually they stop at 62% retracement up to 76.4% retracement on any given move. The sweet spot on a Fib retracement is 50 to 76% retracement on any given market any given day. My arrows automatically calculate this on all these different swings. The algo automatically calculates all these long-term and short-term swings and fires these arrows where there's a sweet spot in the market to get long or short on a retracement. So knowing that, how do I know when to anticipate an arrow and when to look for a trade? You can anticipate them on the trend chart. How do we do that? How can we catch the wrongly positioned traders and how can we fire ourselves in the trade? The best way to do it is this. If my trend's up, which we know all three MAs are crossed above each other, so we're hard trend up, Every time you get a red print, opposite color candle of trend, 
right there. That's counter trend traders coming in. This is counter trend traders coming in. This is counter trend traders coming in. So when a red candle prints, you know to look for buy setup. So let's look at our last buy setup right here. So our last buy setup, the red candle started printing. Okay, once that red candle prints, you know you're in a possible retracement buy because it trends up. We were not going to short. We're going to look for a long side bias. So once that red candle prints, I want to then look at my Fibonacci chart. My Fibonacci chart over here to the right, this is the best chart to look at. It's called my SIM, 5SIM, because it's a 5SIM Renko chart. This is my 5SIM, SIM dot chart. This is where you want to look for a buy setup. The buy setup right here is going to be, should come within two ticks of my symmetry dots. Now, just like the control point is support and resistance in uptrends, so is my sim dots. My blue sim dots are support and uptrends. My red sim dots are resistance and downtrends. What does that mean? If I show you my arrow on gold this morning, show you my gold. So if you look at gold, we had a sell setup. We were in a downtrend. You see how they are really neat how they – let me get a thing right here. See how neat this is when it hits my sim symmetry dots with trend. So here's a sell signal on gold to your right. And here's a buy signal to your crude on left. They're totally opposite, right? Because the trend was up on crude on my trend chart. And the trend chart was down on gold on my trend chart. So when you get an opposite color candle that comes in on your trend chart against trend, those are wrongly position traders or counter trend traders. I want to try to position myself against the public, against retail. Retail is always pretty much wrong. So we want to position ourselves against counter trend traders. And traders know, I was a guest speaker in Las Vegas here a couple years ago at the trade show. There's over almost 6,000 traders there. All the traders I pretty much talk to are counter-trend traders. All the systems that are being developed are counter-trend trading systems. That's how we catch these wrongly positioned traders. They are still doing it today because traders try to jump in front of the runaway train and they get nailed. Or they try to catch a falling knife thinking the market's at its lows and a hard downtrend. They try to time the trade, and they get nailed there also. So we're a little bit different. What we try to do is we try to buy high and sell higher or short low and buy lower. And that's what the professional money likes to do. Totally opposite of what the public tries to do. The public tries to buy low, sell high. Sell low, buy low. You can't do that. It's very difficult to do. What we can do, which is very easy to see, is we can see when the counter trend traders come in the market. That's where the red printed against trend. Then we're going to try to take the first retracement after they come in. So the first red bar printed here on crude, right there. Right when that first red bar printed on crude, what we can do is we can look to take the first retracement and how we can time it is look at our fib arrows. Look where the sim dots are after that first red arrow comes up. I mean after the first red candle comes up. When that first red candle comes up, what we want to do is we want to look for a buy signal. You should come within two ticks of these symmetry dots. Now, you can break the symmetry dots inch your bar. You just can't close the body of the candle below it before the arrow fires. So the arrow fired right here, right at the exact tick or symmetry dots and on the control point. So you had three times stacked area. There's your arrow. To confirm the trade, what you can do is look at my market delta below. Market delta shows an order imbalance between the bid and the ask. That's why I had this small chart below. When that arrow fired, are we green? Are we showing green candles? Are they trying to mark the market up? Yes, they are. You know that arrow is good because you got buy the bid between the bid and the ask. You got buy buyers right below you. It's almost like time of sales. If you guys ever traded stocks with level two, like I used to do, we used to look at time of sales a lot. When all the buyers came in, we'd jump aboard. All the sellers came in, we'd jump aboard as a SOS trader back in the 90s. Well, the same way with the, with the market delta. I use it as, a, as an indicator. Are they trying to market the market up? when my arrow comes in, my Fibonacci arrow on a retracement. They came in, green, 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 green. It tells you they're marking the market up. So that's what that bottom chart's for. So putting it all together is very simple. What we do is we look for a retracement trade. A retracement trade will be when an offset color candle comes in, offset color candle comes in off of our trend chart. Once it comes in, I look at the first chart to my right. This is my retracement chart. Remember, I only got two setups you need to focus on. One is a retracement chart. Two is a trend or a momentum chart, a momentum trade. So I got a retracement trade with my SIM dots. 
my sim dots I only like to trade these retracement trades if I get an offset color candle come in against the trend chart so this far right chart I mean this chart next to the trend chart I put it next to it because I only want to look for a trade on that chart right here on the arrows this is called my retracement chart only if I get an offset color candle that comes in showing the counter trend traders are coming in so here's what happened the counter trend traders came in and they start shorting the market right there we know that counter trend traders they tend to fail if you know any successful counter trend trader I don't know one and I've been trading the markets a long long time I've never known one successful counter trend trader I've known a lot of traders that have blown their counts up trying to fade the market so we don't fade the market what we do want to do is we want to look for a retracement so there's a counter trend traders what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this trade right here we're trying to get that this is trend look how short in duration the counter trend traders are versus the overall trend snapback and this happens over and over again it's happened in the last 35 years that's the trade we want to get we want to get that Fibonacci arrow on symmetry and get that pop in the market okay that's the kind of pop we want to get we want to get that type of pop now what happens what if you don't get a retracement what if we have green bars like this right now green bars all the way up and we don't have an offset color bar same thing happened on gold let me show gold real quick I'll show you the gold trade just happened here's gold right now see gold this morning was in a downtrend there's this trend chart downtrend so what you do is you take what you take Fibonacci retracements off symmetry we nailed it here it's one for one this morning two ticks you got to be within two ticks of symmetry not this arrow you gotta be within two ticks because we have a small stop nail this short but how do we get this big see how gold switched over 90% candle close close above my small MA so the trend is now up look how we're trending up the second setup we have we have what's called a momentum setup and that's our last buy setup on gold if you look at gold, this last buy setup is now my next chart, my 3 sim. This is a buy setup. Why? Because what happened was the market came down and retraced and touched my smaller MA on my momentum setup right there and gave me an arrow to go along with my 3 sim. This is a buy setup. So you would take that long according to my other setup called a momentum setup because they're all green. Green, 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 green. There was an offset color bar for a retracement setup, so that's a momentum setup. So those are the only two setups you're going to work with over and over again. You're going to see these trades cookie cut themselves on a daily basis. We want to look for a momentum setup if the bars are all green or all red on my retracement chart. I mean on my three sim chart, the far right fib chart over here, my far right fib chart. Or we want to look for a retracement trade up trade setup if we have an opposite color bar that comes in on my trend filter. That's all we got to do. That's it. And so if I'm looking at if I'm looking at momentum right now, momentum set up, all green bars right here, I would look for a momentum trade on my far right Fibonacci chart on crude. If I'm looking for a retracement trade, I need an offset color candle to come in. It's got to stop within two ticks of my symmetry dots. And then I'm looking for a positive market delta below. That's the only two setups you need to cookie cut on any given market on any given day over and over again. Two setups. That's it. The easy way to do it is, remember, look at your trend chart first when you first log in. It told you, the bottom line is this, you are in an uptrend since 1.30 yesterday. My small MA is above my medium MA. My medium MA is above my larger MA. The trend is hard up. We have to make sure we only are buying. All right? If you're going to buy this chart next to it, the Fibonacci arrows next to it, it has to be within two ticks of my symmetry dots. It can't be four ticks, five ticks, six ticks, ten ticks away from symmetry. My symmetry dots work really great by themselves, right, on support and resistance. But they work extremely well when you know which symmetry dots to take on support and resistance. Because now with the trend chart, we know exactly what sim dot to buy for support and resistance. Exactly the exact one. We know the exact sim to look for a high probability trade on a retracement based upon my trend chart catching the wrongly positioned traders when it closes opposite color. That's the easiest way to look for a retracement trade. Now if the market is just screaming up like this and all green bars, green, 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 just like it was on gold the last trade, you have to concentrate not on this chart because we're not looking for a deep retracement, we're looking for a shallow retracement. 
right here. If an arrow would have fired right here on the three sim, I would have took it in a heartbeat. It should have fired one right there. It just wasn't deep enough. If an arrow fired right there, which they do all the time, like it did on gold here a second ago, if it fired like that, I would have took that trade without even thinking about it. Why? Because the momentum is hard up on the trend chart. That's a momentum trade, all green. You can't take a retracement trade because there's no red opposite color bar. So you don't look at the symmetry dots. Symmetry dots will give you deep pullbacks after the trend chart shows you counter trend traders have stepped in. That's how you match it up. Okay? 